Hi there. So we're going to start with a sphere here. This has been converted to a polymesh 3D. What we can see with the uh, sphere and, Z and ZBrush is it has this big pole on the top of it. And the result of that pole is going to be, if I try to sculpt on it, I'm going to get some artifacting. And this is pretty typical. Whenever the, the geometry that you're trying to create doesn't really conform to the underlying uh, topology, you're going to have issues. So Dynamesh is a way that you can kind of get around uh, some of those issues. So what it does is it just blends everything together. And you can come in and uh, subdivide it and smooth it if you like, uh, merge down. And I'm going to recalculate. And there you go. Very easily pokes some nice holes there in your geometry. So I'll just go down here to Dynamesh. The default resolution is fine. Turn it on. And here we are. Now, a problem that we will have run into now is we've lost a lot of our beautiful sculpting to the lower Dynamesh resolution. So I could increase this, but then I end up with a lot more geometry, and it's kind of nice to have a reasonably low poly, lowest subdivision level. So turn perspective off here, just get a better view of what's going on. Slide that in using transpose. And I'm going to mirror the geometry. So Z plugin, Subtool Master, Mirror. So here we are, here's the end result. And if I turn on the polyframe, you can see the geometry is, is much more oriented with the actual contours of, of the shape here. After dynameshing a few times, or you know, getting your geometry approximately the way you want it, it's an excellent idea to come in with Z Remesher and get the the edge flow to be actually working with the, the, the contours of your geometry using Z Remesher.